Hello everyone, welcome back to another simple and short video uh, explaining and depicting how I created and solved some of the challenges that I put together for uh, a local capture the flag competition for uh, my school cyber team. So uh, I'm actually going to skip over the XOR challenge because the way that I intended this to be solved was with a tool that we created in-house. Um, so I don't, I don't, I don't think I'll actually just demonstrate the one for you all. I'll just hop on over it and we'll move on to the I lost my password challenge. So this one's pretty simple. Um, it says, okay, oh no, I've lost my password. Can you help me retrieve it? And this actually isn't in the usual flag format. It's just the password. So you'd note here that we have a big etc. shadow or etc. Uh, et password file. Um, and it, it's actually already unshadowed for us. Etc. Shadow doesn't hide the hash with a star. We see the full hash of this user John, which is meant to be a hint that, oh, you should be using the John the Ripper utility to actually go ahead and solve this. So um, we would actually go ahead and download this. I'll hop over to my terminal to kind of explain how we run through it. So I'll hip over to I lost my password, and there's our hashes. So what I would end up doing is actually using John the Ripper, which if you have not heard of him, uh, I recommend doing some research because the whole point of the CTF was to show off um, John the Ripper as the password cracker. So so other individuals get to know this tool and know that it exists and how to use it and that kind of thing. So um, we do want to be able to crack the password and we're going to do a dictionary attack because a brute force attack is very long. It would make more sense to initially use a dictionary file. So uh, that was the tactic that I wanted them to kind of hopefully figure out, but the way we end up using a dictionary file with John is actually using a word list, which I think we denote with dash L or dash list maybe. Yeah, word list. So you can use the word list, and we I'm going to set that equal to where I store the rockyou.txt file, and then I just give it the hashes. And it looks like it already created this. Oh, I might have it in my home folder. John. Let's just remove those. So now I'd be able to run the program just fine. And it's got to be in dictionary files. That's where I actually store the rockyou text file. And if you haven't heard if you haven't seen it or heard of it before, John the Ripper dictionary files. One of those sites that I ended up seeing on Stack Overflow, they note that Roland Bows has a lot of good password lists, and I think they say that rockyou.txt is pretty much the best list available. You probably can't see it, it's super small. But it's huge, and it's stolen on encrypted stuff. So, all right, so John the Ripper is finished, and it's noted that white rose is the password. So just as a simple brute force, uh, not, not, not brute force, but a, a dictionary attack on it. So white rose would be the password of the user, which we just managed to uh, crack, and we would submit that as our flag. And we get that 100 points. Awesome. So super easy. Again, simple stuff. Just wanting to show off those tools like John the Ripper and how to use them. And so the individual will suffer for a little bit if they've never seen it before and figure it out. So uh, and hopefully learn something in the process. Okay. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next video.